Now I ask your pastor to stand in front of me. Can you do that? <laughs> Yesterday I ordained six young men to the diaconate. Forty-nine years ago, in June, your pastor was ordained a priest. So I will ask him just simply again today, Father John, 49 years ago you made a commitment to serve God and the people. I ask you today, are you willing and ready to continue to preach and teach and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, and especially be of service to these, the people of St. Stephen's? Yes, I am. Will you now be their preach, their teacher, and will you, above all, teach them in the name of Jesus Christ? Let us stand together, profess our common faith as we respond, I do, to the questions of the baptism of promises. Do you reject Satan and all his works and pomps? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Father John, do you take this community to be your family? Yes, I, yes, I do, Bishop. And so you, the people of St. Stephen's, do you take Father John to be your pastor? Yes. I guess I can't pronounce you man and wife. But... <laughs> <laughs> I guess the pastor is going to say something, are you? No, no. Oh, yeah. He's going to be quiet for once. Wow. <laughs> First of all, I just want to congratulate you, the parishioners of St. Stephen's, on your 25th anniversary. So those who are here from the very first day, could you please stand? 25 years ago, you're still... You're all going to be canonized for putting up with your pastor for 25. <laughs> the only problem is you're, I don't know, there's one fault, you know. After 25 years, I thought you would have taught him a few things, you know. <laughs> He's untrainable, you know, but it's... A... But I think, as we heard in the scriptures today, and just to reflect a little bit about who Stephen is, Chapter 6 and 7 of the Acts of the Apostles, you hear about the church wishing to go out and take care of the poor, the homeless, the hungry, and not being able to do it, so they choose seven men. And the first one of them is called Stephen. And we hear that Stephen is an upright and holy man. And then we hear in chapter 7 where he is being brought before the Sanhedrin, and we not only hear that he's a holy and upright man, he is also a very courageous man, willing to speak out the truth in the name of Jesus Christ. He's a man of conviction, a man of deep faith and love for God. That is your founder. That's who you, in a sense, live up to. And you gather around this table because it is the Eucharist. You are fed with the body and blood of Jesus Christ and you're fed with the word of Jesus Christ. But the key to all that too is who leads you, who is your prophet. When I think of St. Stephen, I hate to tell you this, but I prayed about it. I think of your pastor. He really truly is that role model.
He's big, he's strong, he's courageous. The only thing he doesn't have in common with St. Stephen, you haven't stoned him to death yet. <laughs> I just ask you, please postpone it for a few more years. I don't have anybody to replace him. <laughs> I want to thank Father George. Today is his feast day because he's a, a priest of the Blessed Sacrament. So Father George, thank you for your service. And now you have your own deacon, Jim Fruzzi, who I ordained yesterday, and I welcome him. In All I can say now, Father George and Jim, please try to train your pastor. You know. <laughs> to all of you in a special way from this community. You are truly a role model of Stephen. You reflect in everything you say and do, and through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray for you because you truly are that gift, that gift to those in need. At the end of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus simply told his disciples to go out into the world, baptize, teach, and preach the Gospel. But then he said to them, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit the sick, visit those in prison, and welcome the stranger. And then Jesus said something very, very powerful. He said, as often as you do this to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do it to me. And that truly is living your faith, being the body of Christ, and above all, making sure that the body of Christ is alive and well in this community of St. Stephen's. So I just want to thank all of those people who made this day a wonderful day and a wonderful celebration, the musicians, the lectors, Eucharistic ministers, everybody who, you the parishioners, I thank you all, the servers especially. Father Joe Pinchak, who was arrived a little late, but you got in under the wire, Father Joe, you're okay. Thank you. 